Hi, Sue Patton here with some really exciting news. So, I know for the past oh, decade or so, you guys have been asking me over and over again to do something with my patented tips and tricks so that you could watch it more than once, refer back to it, and really be able to take the time to take in all that information that up till now I've had to pack in to a three or four hour class. Well, it's here. We finally done it. My friends at a patent porium have helped me to film an entire day of all my tips and tricks, which we are going to share with you on August 14th, 2020. Just in case you're watching this, you know, a decade from now. So what we're going to do, well, because we have no limitations on time and because the class will run all day long, we are going to start off with loading the quilt top. How do we do it so that we don't have any of those cat hammocks, no puckers or pleats on the back as we're quilting? Then we're going to go on and I'm going to show you how I square the quilt off as I work my way down to the bottom. So that when I'm done and I'm ready to put that binding on, oh, and I'm going to show you how to do that too, then it's perfectly square and ready to go. Stitch in the ditch? Ha! I'm going to show you how it can be a walk in the park instead of a drunken sailor cruising across your quilt. Then we're going to do an entire session on tension. Not that any of you have ever had any issues with your tension. What are we going to do? We're going to talk about the top tension. We're going to talk about the bottom tension. We're going to go on and talk about threads and we're going to work through a multitude of different threads. One on the top, one on the bottom, a cotton, a poly, you name it, we're going to achieve perfect tension top and bottom. We're then going to go on and talk about how our batting affects the end use of our quilt. So if I'm putting on on a bed, what batting should I use if it's going to a show? Is that the same batting? Nah. So we'll talk about what batting, why to choose it, and how it's going to affect that end look, use, and result of that quilt. We're going to talk about different stitch lengths, where and why to use them. Then we're going to go on and we're going to do an entire session on all my tips and tricks on mastering rulers. So I'm going to show you how to position your ruler on all four sides of that needle bed so that when you grab that ruler for precision, you'll know exactly what to do and how to approach it to get that perfect end look. But wait, it gets better because we're going to go on and I'm going to show you all my tips and tricks for mastering free motion quilting. We're going to do some muscle memory. We're going to do some practice. And everything's going to be included in your handout, which you can download and keep forever. But wait, it gets better. There's so much in this class, and I know the number one request from my students is that they wish they could take me home and hear it again and again. So we are going to leave it up for a full month. So you can refer back to it, you can watch it over and over again. So on the day of, that August 14th, when you come and join us for the tips and tricks, you can ask live questions and I'll be happy to answer them. But after the fact, you can go back and rewatch any section or segue or the whole thing over and over again. All right. Go to a patent porium, and what you want to do is go to, do I have it written down? Right here, selfie.com backslash a patent porium backslash virtual classes. Sign up today.